Hong Kong fight scenes weren't always this natural and realistic looking. In the 1960s, fight scenes looked like this. Still much more entertaining than a western-style barroom brawl, but it definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Most noticeable is that nobody looks like they actually want to hurt anybody. Which is kind of the point of a fight scene. Even when the action was pretty fast, like, this is pretty good right here. The actual hits are so lazy, like, these kicks make me think of Kip from Napoleon Dynamite. It wasn't until the 1970s that the actors finally got their heads around how to make it look like they were really trying to hurt the other person in the scene. But what they gained in intensity, they lost in fluidity. And fight scenes in the 70s became really stilted and rigid. It's like somebody's on set with a metronome and they have to make sure to match every single beat. The choreography has a lot of depth to it and is actually really good. It's just the execution, which was enough to make some audience members applaud, but not someone like Bruce Lee. You see, Bruce thought about rhythm a lot, and he wrote about it a lot. So after the lackadaisical 1960s fight scenes and then the stilted 1970s ones, Bruce Lee comes around and he produces this masterpiece. This is Bruce versus Bob Baker, not to be confused with you know, I want the whole although truth be told, the rhythm of this is still a lot better than the other fight scenes I just showed you. So good for you, Bob. But look at this, look at the fluidity. This was the first time in a Hong Kong fight scene that it looked like the characters were actually reacting to one another. Look at the way Bruce responds to his opponent moving forward. He was all about how the fighters related to one another. Relate to me now. Move, move, no, 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 don't just move for the sake of moving. Relationship, relationship, relationship. And there had never been a fight scene like this before in history until Bruce Lee came along. And this was 1972, so after this, every fight scene kind of changed, right? And the rhythms were better. This Jackie Chan fight scene's from 1978. This piece of garbage is from 1980. How is this 1980? This is eight years after Bruce Lee fought Bob Baker. How, how do you not learn? Even when Hong Kong blatantly tried to copy Bruce Lee, they couldn't get the fights right. There's intensity, but it's terrible. And I don't know what this steaming pile of epileptic editing is, but I'm, it's not a good rhythm and it's not Bruce Lee style, that's for sure. Here's Jackie Chan in 1983. 83! This is more than a decade after Bruce Lee should have revolutionized fight scenes. Later on in 1983, you can see Jackie's picked up on the rhythm. He's got it. This is real. He's got that natural feel to it, but all the complexity of the choreography is gone. In the 80s, Hong Kong action scenes kind of caught up in terms of rhythm, but it was like they couldn't do it and maintain the complexity of the choreography. Here's Donnie Yen in his first movie in 1984, and you can still see that there's a strong influence from the 1970s metronome rhythm. The choreography is complex, but that rhythm just isn't right. The very next year though, here's Donnie Yen versus Dick Wei, and it's like in that one year span, he grew by leaps and bounds. Suddenly the rhythm is fantastic, but all the complexity is gone from the choreography. Meanwhile, 12 years ago, Bruce Lee was already doing this, showing us realistic counter-strikes, conditioning his opponents like Pavlov's dog before he fakes going to the wrist and goes upstairs with the kick. It was like everybody else just wasn't ready to wrap their brains around what he was doing. But every bit as impressive as how far Bruce Lee was ahead of his time is how quickly everybody caught up all at once. It's not like one person caught up in Hong Kong and another and then another eventually over the years. Everybody caught on at the same time. And it all happened in late 1983 through early 1984. And it took Jackie Chan one year to go from this 1970s feeling piece of garbage to making one of the most amazing fight scenes in the history of cinema. This is Jackie Chan versus Benny the Jet Urquides. And can we just sit back and admire how amazing this single long take is? The realistic rhythm, the fakes, the complexity of the choreography, it all came together. It took him one year. And in my opinion, one of the other top fight scenes in Hong Kong cinema history is this other one between Jackie Chan and Benny the Jet. People have been saying for years that Bruce Lee revolutionized Hong Kong cinema, starting with The Big Boss. But sorry, no, that is not true. The choreography in The Big Boss is basically just choreography from the Green Hornet that's lifted and put into a Hong Kong movie. 
Look, I'll put the Green Hornet on the left and the Big Boss on the right. It wasn't until this second movie he did, The Chinese Connection, and his fight with Bob Baker, that he truly revolutionized the rhythm of Hong Kong fight scenes. And even this fight is bookended by two fight scenes that suffer from that same 1970s rhythm. In reality, he revolutionized the rhythm of fight scenes on half a dozen fights, and that's it. Bruce Lee's sense of rhythm was so far ahead of its time that an industry of thousands of people working all at the same time couldn't figure it out for more than a decade. But when guys like Jackie Chan did catch up, oh my god, did they catch up. So there you have it, the history of rhythm in Hong Kong fight scenes. From Blase, to Babu Bot, to Bruce Lee, to everybody catching up with him in the 1980s and creating modern masterpieces.